This week's episode see Harper and her sister Dana discover that they have both been subpoenaed to give evidence in the case against Tane, who is due to stand trial for kidnap after he fled Summer Bay with baby Maya. While Dana isn't surprised to have been summoned, as it was her who sneaked Tane into the baby's hospital room on the day he took her, she never expected her sister to be dragged into the mess. Meanwhile, Tane is working on his defense with lawyer Marshall, with the pair having sorted out their disagreement over Marshall's fling with Felicity Newman. Tane worries that, apart from the baby's mother Sonia, they have no credible witnesses, but Marshall assures Tane that he's won tougher cases than this before. When Harper finally catches up with Dane, she breaks the news to him that she has to testify against him. While Tane knows that she has no choice in the matter, he suggests that they give each other some space. But when he breaks the news to Marshall, the lawyer is pleased, explaining that he will now be able to cross-examine the pair and potentially twist their words to his and Tane's advantage. Meanwhile, Harper and Dana continue to battle their nerves over testifying at Tane's trial. While police officer Rose Delaney makes it clear that she can't talk about the case, Rue Stewart convinces her to have a talk with the sisters, pointing out that they're on the same side. After Rose admits to Harper and Dana that the DPP will be pursuing the maximum sentence against Tane, she calls in a favor from Cash Newman and tags him in. However, he does mention to Harper that he once saw a case where a subpoenaed witness claimed that they had amnesia in an effort to avoid answering the court's questions. Cash apologizes for not being able to help, but Harper reveals that he's helped her more than he knows. As Harper contemplates Cash's words, has he inspired a new tactic in her to manipulate the court?